what's up? I just thought about this, but you're a business major, so I guess you should probably be able to explain this, right? Yeah. So the pitch of your music, yeah, it changed as you slow down to pick me up. Yeah. Can you explain that? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's called Doppler effect. Oh. Here, when we get back to my place, I'll explain it to you. All right, Ken. So right now, I'm gonna to explain to you what the Doppler effect is, which is the phenomenon that you experience in my car with the pitch and frequency of the sound changing with velocity. So, to give you an example, we have a sound source, which you can imagine be my car, that's emitting sound at a certain frequency at a certain wavelength. Now, as you know, wavelength is the distance between two waves. And the velocity that these waves are coming out at um, as is represented by the wavelength times the frequency. Now, as my car is moving with a certain velocity towards you, those wavelengths start to kind of catch up with each other. So the new wavelengths are shorter than the original ones. So the wavelengths are shorter, that means the frequency that you perceive must be bigger than the original frequency. So we can represent this phenomenon, the Doppler effect, with this formula right here, where we have four different variables. F, which is the new frequency perceived by you, F0, which is the original frequency that's being emitted by the sound source. VS, which is the velocity of the sound source relative to you. And V, which is the velocity of the waves coming at you. Now, there can be another phenomenon in which instead of the sound source coming towards you, it's going away from you. In that case, let's look at the example where sound source is, is at rest. We have a certain wavelength and a certain frequency at which the sound's being emitted at. As the sound source is going away from you, that wavelength is starting to get bigger, which means, according to this formula, the frequency that you will perceive starts to get smaller. And so, with the same types of variables that we had in the previous equation, we have this new formula. And as you can tell just by the different uh, variables, this frequency definitely will be shorter than this one when the sound is receding away from you. So does that make sense to you, Ken, as far as sound changing and frequency changing with velocity, like, like what just happened in my car? Does that all kind of make sense to you? Yeah, I think I get it. Okay, awesome. Now the cool thing about the Doppler effect is that it doesn't only pertain to sound. It can actually pertain to anything that is a wave, any wave-like source. So let's take light, for example. Light is a wave, so we can pertain the Doppler effect to light. So let's say we have a light source that's stationary relative to you. Now as you know, the speed of light is equal to c, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. It's uh, equivalent to uh, your wavelength times your frequency. Uh, it's the same exact formula as the speed of sound. Now you're perceiving the light at a certain frequency and this light has a certain wavelength. Now let's say for example that this light source is moving towards you. Now just like in the case where the sound source is moving towards you, the wavelengths of the light are going to catch up with one another and the perceived wavelength is actually going to be a lot shorter. And based on this formula, when wavelength gets shorter, the frequency must be higher. So the frequency that you will perceive will be higher than the original frequency. And that can be represented mathematically by this formula right here. Now we have a little bit of different variables in this formula, but I'll explain to you what they are. You have F0, which is your original frequency of uh, the light source emitting the light. You have F, which is the perceived frequency, the frequency that you, uh, that you see. You have beta, which is equal to V over C. V, which is the relative velocity between your frame and the frame that the light is moving at. And C, which is the speed of light. So this particular phenomenon with the Doppler effect, where the light source is coming towards you, it's called a blue shift. Now let's look at the other situation where we have the light source moving away from you at a certain velocity. So it's the same scenario as before, you have a light source emitting light at a certain frequency, the light has a certain wavelength, but now the light source is moving away from you at a certain velocity relative to you. So the wavelengths are gonna be longer now than the original ones. So that means that the frequencies that you perceive are actually gonna be shorter, or it's gonna be smaller than the original. And that can be represented mathematically by this formula right here, with the same types of variables as the previous one. This particular scenario in which the light source is receding away from you is called redshift. So those are the main applications 
of the Doppler shift and the main phenomenon that you experience in everyday life, essentially. Blackened!